What's going on guys? Uh, Jared here with another video. Um, appreciate the guys as always that, that enjoy watching my videos. Um, today hopefully I have a little more informative video than I did last time but like I said I wasn't bragging about any great information last time. But um, good win for uh, Duke in Miami the other night. Uh, sorry I kind of waited till uh, Saturday to put up a video but like I said depending on what I did that night and the, and the uh, following nights but uh, you know, ever since Singler started off um, awful, well, I, and, and the thing is, he's never started off that bad, but for what people thought he was going to do, it was a bad start, so I guess that's fair to say, but um, Singler's been playing great the last four or five games, uh, he averaged, or he has I don't know what his average has been the last five games, but he had another 22 points, uh, 11 rebounds, I think five of them uh, offensive, and four uh assist um, Nolan Smith Nolan Smith uh, was just played his uh, played his consistent game you know whether it's uh, having a better better second half or a better first half you know Nolan Smith is always around that 18 to 22 point range it seems like Nolan Smith had a 21 uh, if you watch the game it was close the whole time and Nolan Smith hit a big three which I'll talk about here more uh, here in a minute uh, Shire you know Shire wasn't definitely wasn't his best game by far of the um, of the year and uh he, he had 15 points six assists but again you know i think he had one or two turnovers but he's not he's not hurting us definitely you know and he's making some big shots too he made some big shots um coming down uh toward the end of that game and he's on the free throw line and that's what we want we want shire on the free throw line when games matter uh zubek great game he had 10 points nine rebounds and about five steals for the big men uh, something you don't see too often, uh, it's, you know, five steals, especially from Zubek. But, uh, you know, Zubek continued to play. Um, con he fed off the Maryland game, and he played a great game. Uh, so, and, and like I was talking to a couple people the other day, you know, if Duke, I know, I know I'm going to get plenty of comments for this one, but if Duke plays um, as good as they can, with, and especially with their big men playing the way they are right now, they can beat any team in the country, hands down. And and I know you can argue with me saying they can't, but I can. I have everything to say they can, that they can beat any team in the country. There's no outstanding team in the country this year. You know, you, you've seen Kansas lose. I was at the game Kentucky lost at against a very, very, very mediocre uh, South Carolina team with basically one score in Devin Downey. So you know they can definitely lose. Uh, Syracuse can lose. I mean, they're, they're really any team in the top ten, and maybe even beyond, can definitely win. So, uh, you know, uh, Miami had a couple good. Uh, they, they, they. Uh, Dwayne Collins, twenty-one points. He played really well. I think it was his most he's had all year. I think he's only averaging like eleven points a game. So great game for him. Congratulations on that. And Duran Scott, nineteen points. Um, another good game. Miami is a great home team. They, if you watch this game, they played great. Basically the first, I don't know, 30 minutes of the game. Um, they were never out of it. You know, Duke pulled, Duke got, had a seven-point lead, six-point lead about the last five minutes of the game, I believe. But, you know, you look at the first half, I, I think what hurt, I mean, it, the, way, the way the first half went, if you were just looking at, you know, looking at the game, hell, you would have thought Duke would have been down by 25 points at, the ha at halftime, and they were only down, I think, 10. But, you know, it was a... They they outplayed Duke from every facet of the game. So um, you know Miami can play some ball. They just you know they they, they struggled uh, when it comes down toward the end of the game. I don't know if uh, whether Duke just wearing them out or if um, or they just woke up. I don't know what it was, but uh, Duke you know cut the lead. Really took the lead completely away within five minutes of the first half. They uh, they jumped on them and they really never let up the second half, which was good to see. Um, Duke's next game, which we talked about in the last video, is Virginia Tech, uh, eight and three. You know, if Duke wins this game, it's really, I mean, they're going to be, they're going to really going to be in. I know they're in control now. I guess. Well, I guess if they lose tomorrow night, or yeah, they wouldn't be in too much control. But if they win, you know, they could definitely put some big distance between them and second place. Um, I know they've got another one with Maryland coming up, which will be another big game, and it's at Maryland. But uh, you know, obviously, when you're talking about Virginia Tech, you got to talk about Malcolm Delaney. He is uh, one of the best players, uh, if not, well, yeah, he's not the best, but he's one of the best, definitely best point guards, if not the best point guard. I can say that in the uh, in the ACC, he's averaging 20.2 points a game. 
Uh, he's only a junior, so he's only going to be better next year. Uh, Dorenzo Hudson is averaging 14 points a game, another guard, and a forward. Uh, Jeff Allen is, av is averaging a little over 11. Um, Virginia Tech's hot. They've won five straight in the ACC. And, uh, you know, the, the one good thing that this Duke's got going for him is this, has, this is at Duke. And I, and I really don't see Duke losing this game. I, honestly, I, I like Duke winning by double digits. I like him winning by 13, 14 points. I may look stupid if they lose or if they only win by two. But, you know, everything – Every good team Duke's played at home this year. I think Duke's averaging an 18-point victory on the at home this year, and I don't see and I see it maybe being a little less than that, but I don't see Duke struggling with Virginia Tech too much. I mean, Malcolm Delaney, you know, great. He's a good point guard, but he's not going to – Virginia Tech can't compete with Duke's size, let alone – I mean, a lot of teams can't compete with Duke's size and athletic ability inside. So um, I look for Duke, like I said, to, to win maybe – I'm going to say uh, – uh, my prediction would be 85 to 72, maybe a little less than that, maybe more of a, you know, it could be lower, but I'm thinking 13 points, but, um, and for all the guys who watched my last idiot video, I had this idiot, Jay Fay, who was being a complete douchebag and, uh, making stupid comments, so I blocked him, and I normally wouldn't block anybody, even if you make bad comments, but he was being just, I don't know, he was being an extreme tool. And uh, Jay, Faye, Jay Faye, I hope you're watching this video. You're a douchebag. And um, only faggots post uh, post stuff on on uh, YouTube like that, which, you know, you might be gay, so whatever. Good for you. Um, by the way, uh, again, if you guys want to play Xbox Live with me, Drunk Golf Pro is my name. I'll post that on there. And, um, again, watch my, my, my kick to the nuts or hit the nuts video. And, um... Like I said, appreciate you guys watching. I'm going to be at the beach for the next few days. So um, I will be back. Hopefully Duke, Duke can pull one out. Last time I, I went to the beach, the same time Duke played Boston College, I think it was last year. It may have been Virginia Tech, and we lost. So hopefully I have a little better luck uh, this year when I'm down at the beach. But have a good week, guys. I'll see you maybe next week.